This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this 2002 Dodge Ram Quad Cab. It's an SLT. It is two-wheel drive. It is a 4.7 liter V8. It has 109,000 miles. It's being uh, sold as a theft recovery. It's a salvage title due to theft. It is not wrecked. Um, really nice truck. All that we can see wrong with it is it looked like it got a little bit of light hail damage at one time. Uh, that mainly affected the very top of the, like the, the driver's side doors and bedside and fenders. A little bit of the hood. The most you can, uh, you can see is on the roof. Um, the passenger side seems to be unaffected, so it kind of blew in that way. And it wasn't bad hail. On a 1 to 10, I've seen 10, and I've seen uh, perfect. And uh, I would say this is about a 2 as far as hail damage goes. Front tires look to be about... About, I would say 40 to 50 percent tread on 20 inch wheels. Um, see if I can get you a perspective here. It's hard to even see it really on the hood. It's not a little bit here. Anyway, the biggest thing is it looks like they added a, uh, this hood scoop, this hood cowling or whatever you want to call it, um, aftermarket to the hood. And you can see it needed to be painted better around the edges. Um, the hood actually looks to have been repainted because I see some chipping here. Um, I've already checked and the fenders are all the original fenders with the factory stamps and everything. So it looks like the guy just wanted a different looking hood and bought another hood and put it on. Um, and then whatever happened as far as hail is concerned happened after he put the hood on it. Um, but the paint is so-so on that hood um, as far as finish is concerned. Here's your passenger front tire, 30 to 40 percent tread. A lot of stuff like this down on the passenger rear uh, edge of the door. Stuff on the driver door, just chips and stuff. Eh. But if it was a black truck, it would look worse. Uh, on a white truck, it's not such a big deal. I see stuff down here. It runs great. Uh, just drove it uh, again after it came back from detail, and I love the way it runs. It's a very smooth ride. The rear tires. I can still see the nipples on them, so I think that the rear tires are actually brand new. Um, and the fronts are the front uh, passenger front looks like 30 or 40 percent, the driver front looks like it's about 40 or 50 percent, and the rear tires look like they're new. Got a tow package, you got a nice little bed liner. He spent some money on the bed liner, it's even got the little catch here so stuff doesn't fall in. The gap there between the tailgate and the body, and it's padded. All right here's uh, stuff going on around the tail lights, some scratches and chips. Let's see if I can get you an angle on the on the uh, hail. It's kind of hard to see. I don't know if you can build a seat. You're just gonna have to trust me. Little ones just kind of like all the way along the top edge of the of the bed rail and the top edge of the doors. This tire is like really high tread. Okay. This is where they got into the car. They kind of went underneath the handle. Let's see if you can see that there. You can kind of see them in that picture, I think. Let me show you the roof real quick. All right. Again, I don't think anyone cares about the roof unless you're Shaquille O'Neal. Just try to try to reveal as much as we can possibly know. You know, so many people see these vehicles online that we don't need to candy coat or hide anything. Um, it's running right now. Here it runs really well. There's your uh, Mopar stamp right there. So that is the factory fender. Core support looks great. There's the lower core support, as it's supposed to be, nice and straight. We did put a battery in it. Here's the driver fender, and there's the Mopar symbol right there. 
So it looks like the only thing that was replaced was the hood, and he probably did it to put the, uh, probably replaced the hood just to put that on, because he also did the billet grill also, so. He just kind of wanted to make it look a little bit cooler, I think. I don't think it was any reaction to anything that happened to it. Door. The interior looks fantastic. Um, it's missing the overhead console. Look at these seats. Wow. It's missing the overhead console. I see a little something here. Headliner looks great, but it's missing that console. There's nothing that plugs into it. We couldn't find any plug wires, so it's going to be just a probably a sunglass holder. Um, you might be able to find it for 30 or 40 or 50 bucks at, uh, on eBay, or maybe buy it new for probably the same price. It is a power seat. There you go. Let's see, what else to do? Oh, it's got the lumbar. Let's see it moving there. All right, uh, we did have to do a repair. There was a hole right here. So our, one of our seat guys came in and repaired it. He didn't put a new insert in because it would have looked really funky. He just put some fill in there and put it back together. Um, that's what they do, all right? There's your uh, switches. Let's see. Here's your passenger seat and your door panels. Let's turn on some air in here. Uh, that blows ice cold. That is some nice air, people. Tucson, we know our air conditioning. Um, let's turn on the radio. There's a radio. You've got cassette. You've got an in-dash CD. Like I said, let me show you this real closer here. This is what you have here. And there's no plugs up in here, so nothing important was in here. Um, it probably didn't have an in-car computer. So it's probably just like one of those, you know, racks for, uh, Sunglasses. Uh, I'll put on my seatbelt. All right, we have 109,513 miles. Come back here for you. There's your view of it running. Let me give it some gas. Nice. There's your overdrive. Off and on. There's your cruise control. On and off. You've got your tilt wheel right here, tilt up, tilt down, you got all your light switches there, there's your window, up and down, there's the passenger window, rear window, there we go, and let's go driver rear window, and driver rear window, perfect, okay, let's see, let's go for a ride real quick here, um, go over some facts here, um, if you if we come to an agreement on a price and you want to ship it um, you'll pay by wire um, we'll provide you with our Wells Fargo account information that's the easiest way to do it you also if you don't feel comfortable with that which is silly because it's actually really riskier to do cashier's checks but if you feel more comfortable doing cashier's checks we can do that too uh, we do have to have a $50 um, deposit a $50 $500 deposit um, in old order to hold the car for 48 hours while we figure out when you're going to pay off the rest of it, which needs to be within five days. So deposit within 48 hours, um, paid off in full within five days. If you come here and pick it up, because it's on a salvage title, we were going to need to restore the title, um, as explained in our ad. Uh, we restore titles for $200. We take it down to motor vehicles. The cops inspect it. That uh, takes about six hours of our employees' time sitting there babysitting it. And then we take the title and the restored salvage document that the cops give us, and we get a restored salvage title, which allows us to give you temporary plates to drive home with. So add 200 for that, and then you're going to take your state tax rate plus our city and county of 2.1, and then you're going to add a $250 dock fee. If you just want to ship it, I strongly suggest us having it inspected not because we want your $200, we'd rather not do the inspection, it's a hassle, but because when it leaves the state, um, it's gone. And if you need the cops to see it here, it's here at the beginning. So anyway, if you do that, you pay by wire, all you have to do is pay us whatever we agree on, say, you know, if it was 9,000 plus 200, it'd be 9,200. Let me just jump on it here real quick. Nice truck, this thing runs great. Nice and smooth, very straight. 
no pulls, no vibrations, nothing. Great truck. Anyway, if you pay by wire, uh, once we've been paid in full, we mail off the title, uh, notarized to you, the restored salvage title. And then uh, we have a, a, a shipper that we suggest. You can use whoever you want. Uh, but he knows our hours and our time and our place. It's Fred at Sharps Auto Transport. His number's in our ad. Um, and you just pay him and he ships it out. So if it was $9,000, it would be $9,200. If you came here, it would be $9,000 plus uh, your state tax, plus 2.1%, plus $200 to restore, plus $250 dock fee. And that's all I can say. Uh, it's a great truck. Uh, you'll love it. Thank you.